know what you must be thinking. Did he do six stitches or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I kind of lost track myself. But being this is a nine millimeter, the most powerful hook in the world, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> you might have thought that was Clint Eastwood, but it was actually my husband. Anyway, I'm here to teach you how to correct the mistakes that you might have made just like me in your RevCom projects. So let's get started. This is the technique that I'm going to teach you how to correct your mistakes in. This is my RevCom technique, and that's short for Reversible Continuous Overlay Mosaic Crochet. And that's overlay mosaic crochet with a front side and a back side, so it's reversible. If you haven't learned this technique yet, please watch my previous video to learn the technique before you learn how to correct your mistakes, because it will make much more sense if you've already learned the technique. So this swatch here has no mistakes in it, but this swatch here has a mistake in it because when I go to do my next stitch, which should be my anchored double crochet on the wrong side, I would start with the first part of my stitch and then go to the back side and I'm looking for my free loops, my carried yarn and my back loop, but I've worked in those. So what's going on here? What did I do on the row below that I shouldn't have done. And I can look at this side and I can look closely at my double crochet, which should have just been a front loop double crochet and see that I anchored it by mistake. So that's why that back loop is not available to work in. So you can't just work into it. I've tried several different ways of putting my hook in and it looks bad. So what we have to do on this kind of mistake is rip out the row and go back on the previous row, taking our loop out. And if my yarn was still attached to the ball of yarn, I would also put the ball of yarn back through. But I'm just going to put my loop back through, my strand back through my loop, and rip this out back to my mistake, which was this stitch right here, which was an anchor double crochet instead of a front loop double crochet. And that was easy for me to make a mistake on because I'm used to working anchor double crochets when I'm doing overlay mosaic. So I'm just going to change that stitch to a front loop double crochet, and then I can work my next anchored double crochet on the wrong side. And I would continue this row, finish it off, and when I get to that stitch on the next row, look at that. There's my, uh, my two loops that I need. This is the carried yarn, and this is the back loop. So if you find that you've worked an anchored double crochet on the front, instead of a front loop double crochet and those loops are not available to work in anymore, I would suggest that you go back one row and fix that mistake so when you come back on the next row you'll have the loops available. Now that's one mistake that you can make that I've made. You noticed in my previous video that I actually started the next row without carrying the yarn. And that's an easy fix because once you figure out that you've forgotten to carry the yarn across, if you're doing the my continuous overlay mosaic technique, then you just rip back those few stitches, carry your yarn across, and start working your stitches over that carried yarn. But I have another mistake that I'd like to show you and teach you how to correct, because this one's a little bit more tricky. Here's the two swatches on the front, and they look identical, because they are. 
but on the back, there's something missing on one of the swatches. Can you find it? Well, I'm going to show you that it's a missing anchored double crochet on the wrong side right here. We don't have that blue line going down just like we do on this one. So how do we correct that? And more importantly, how do we not have to rip out all these rows going back here to correct it? Because here's a true story on my new RevCom scarf pattern. When I was crocheting that scarf, I noticed about 30 rows later that I did not work an anchor double crochet on the wrong side. So I was missing that line. And I said to myself, I am not going to rip out 30 rows. I'm going to figure out how to fix it. So let me show you how to fix it. Okay, first we have to determine where that stitch is missing. Here's where that anchor double crochet should have been worked. And it should have been worked right into the top of this front loop double crochet. But I worked a single crochet by mistake instead of the anchor double crochet on the wrong side. So in order to start that stitch, I would have had my hook in the back loop of the stitch and I would have pulled up a loop in this stitch for the anchored part. So I'm going to put my hook right into that loop which is just one that goes right across the back. And I'm going to add some more yarn. I'm going to do the yarn over portion of my double crochet on the back part, insert my hook under the carried loop and the back loop of that stitch that I should have worked into for the anchored double crochet on the wrong side and pull up a loop. Now I have my four loops on the hook, which is the one I pulled up, the yarn over, the one that I pulled up in the stitch, and I actually have the back loop here also on the hook. <clears throat> so I'll yarn over and pull through the first two, and I'll yarn over and pull through the last three. And this is going to go to the front of the work, which is fine, because we have just added that missing double crochet on the back, which was our anchor double crochet wrong side. But we need to weave in these ends. So what I like to do is that loop that was left on the hook actually becomes the first loop of the top loop actually of the next stitch. So I'm going to pull this loop to the front. I'm going to insert this strand in my tapestry needle. I'm going to follow the path of the top loop of the next stitch. And you need to look very closely at where it's going. It's going behind that stitch and it's going under that strand, this opposite color strand, and it's also going around the strands of the next stitch. And then it comes to the front and it goes under the front two strands of this front loop double crochet because this is the front loop of that stitch. And then it goes down. So we can now take it to the back of the work and we could weave in this end on the back. And I would weave this in actually going up to the top of the dark color and across there. If I'm weaving it in where my light color is, it's going to show more and I would weave it in across here. And I would go across more and come back a little bit and that will be nice and sturdy. So here's the other strand from our added double crochet portion of our anchor double crochet on the wrong side that was missing. And I'm going to take this strand and I'm going to go down under here and up here to the top of the stitch. All of our strands really are here, so I'm just going to take it 
up and start weaving across the top of the dark row. And you just want to get your dark strands in the same area as your dark strands so that they're not going to be as noticeable. And you can see once this is all woven in that this missing anchored double crochet on the wrong side looks identical to the one next to it and your project will look just the same as if it had no mistake at all. I hope you've gained the confidence that you need to learn the RevCom technique and to fix your mistakes if you happen to make some, like me. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about this technique or fixing your mistakes, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and happy mosaic crocheting to all of you. So, if you wanted to do my reversible overlay mosaic crochet technique, continuous. But you've made mistakes, so I'm going to teach you how to fix them right now. <laughs> do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> A man's got to know his limitations. <laughs>